Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Joshua McDonald and today we are checking out the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 1LT. Guys, before we get started with the video, I know a lot of you are in the market for a Corvette or any new or used vehicle. If you want the best price on any vehicle across the United States, check out the link in the description to get the best price sent to you today. But without further ado, let's check out all the features on the inside and outside of the base model in the Corvette lineup. All right, guys, so here she is, the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray 1LT. Now, underneath the back, we have a 6.2 liter V8. That's gonna produce 455 horsepower. Since this one doesn't have the dual mode exhaust, it limits it a little bit down to 455. If you do get the dual mode exhaust, that raises up the horsepower to 460 horsepower. But let's take a look at everything up front on this vehicle. So classic Corvette styling up front. We have our LED accented headlights, Corvette logo in the center. This is actually an option from the factory. These are the self logos. Big cooling radiators up front for that 6.2 liter V8. Now on the key, you have your lock, unlock, remote start. You can open up the hood, you can open up the trunk and you have a panic button right below the sticker. So if we wanna open up this front trunk, we can use the key or we have a button underneath the right side of this vehicle. So if you notice right there, there's a little button. So if I press that, it will open that hood right up. Now the styling on this hood kind of looks a lot like a Lamborghini Aventador, but it looks pretty cool. Underneath here, you have your windshield wiper fluid. Front trunk, you can also escape by hitting that button. We have a 12 volt charger and you do have tie downs for cargo nets and stuff like that. So pretty good space underneath the hood. Let's go ahead and close her up. Now I think the one LTs don't have soft close. They do. So you have soft close on the front trunk so you can just push it down and it closes itself perfectly. Now for a wheel and tire setup, we have a staggered wheel and tire. Up front, we're gonna have 245 and 35 19s. Since this doesn't have the Z51 package, it's gonna have the all season Michelin tires on it. Red brake calipers, Corvette logo in the center, good looking wheel and tire. Now, if we move to the back, we're gonna have some bigger tires. These are Michelin Pilot Sport all season fours, and the size in the back is gonna be 305 30 20s. So, a lot bigger in the back to put that power down, as you can see there. But, side profile on the Corvette is absolutely gorgeous, guys. It definitely looks like a supercar, absolutely gorgeous. And you can get it in two different configurations. So this is the coupe, and you can tell us the coupe because we have the glass in the back to see the motor. Now, you also have the convertible where the entire top will lift up and down power, but in the coupe, you get a target top that is removable right here. The way you take that off is you have three different hooks. So one there, one on the other side, and one right here, and you can take it off and you can actually store it in the back. So let's go to the back real quick and take a look at that. But before we open it up, we do have a low profile spoiler in the back that gives it a really good appearance. Quad exhaust tips for that 6.2 liter V8. Great styling elements in the rear. Now, like I said, we can open it up with the key or we have a button underneath. Let's push that and it opens up. So this is a big piece right here that opens up as you can see. The only thing that separates you and the motor is some glass, but look at that, absolutely gorgeous guys. Definitely looks like a hot rod. So you can put that target top back here. It locks into place with these connectors on both sides, but tons of room back here. The Corvettes are designed to hold two golf bags. This definitely gets the job done for all you golfers out there. But I love being able to see that motor. Same thing for this right here. If you close it, it is soft close. Just push down on it, closes right up. Stingray logo in the back. And here's where we put our gas in. So 93 octane only, Castless, sorry, capless gas fill system. <clears throat> and let's go ahead and open her up. So like I said, the 1LT is the base model. So you're gonna notice we don't have a lot of premium materials. This is all about performance in this vehicle. So leather on the doors, plastic around our Bose speakers. This is the Bose eight speaker system. If you move up to the 2LT, you can get the Bose Performance Series 14 speaker system. 
There's buttons down here to open up our front and back trunks. This button right here opens up your door. If the battery dies, you also do have the option to pull on this lever to escape. Basic window controls, basic mirror controls, no blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. Beautiful red seats. They're fully powered and adjustable. The only adjustments you have on the 1LT is forwards, backwards, and recline. So no lumbar, no back support, but they feel pretty good to me. So let's lay down inside this car and start her up. Push button start. And she comes to life. I love the steering wheel on these Corvettes. It definitely gives it kind of like a GT3 feel. Flat bottom, flat top, such a pleasure to drive. This line right here is great on the track so you can always see where you're turning into your turns. Pedals behind the steering wheel for our automatic transmission. You can also flip it into manual mode by pressing this button right here. But it's push for manual, pull for drive, push for neutral, pull for reverse. Once you go into reverse, your backup camera will appear and then push the P for park. Now for our steering wheel, we have all of our cruise control buttons on the left side. We do have forward collision equipped in this vehicle, so you can change your adjustments with this button right here. Z mode, which is a completely customizable mode. Scroll through your favorites, turn your music up and down, and you have hands-free voice commands and call dropping. The right side of the steering wheel, we can scroll through our tab right here on the right, so you can see your trip odometer, you can see your fuel economy, trip timers, current drive cycles. You also have a tab for performance, so you can see your zero to 60, lap timer, and G-forces. There's an audio tab, maintenance tab, where you can see your engine oil, transmission fluid, transmission filter. Break-in period for the engine on these is 500 miles, and break-in period for the transmission is around 1,500 miles, so keep that in mind. More options, and you can simplify your display. Now, if we scroll through our different drive modes, this whole appearance will change. The way you do that is right below your hand rest right here, you have this little dial that you can turn to the left or to the right. So if we turn it to the left, we can go into my mode, which is a completely customizable mode, weather mode for heavy rain or snow. Let's go back to the right. Tour mode for driving around town. Sport mode if you're feeling sporty and we also have track mode. Now what these modes do is when you change through them, it will make the accelerator more touchy. It will make the steering stiffer or looser, and it'll also change the gearing ratios on this. So it'll hold the revs more in track and sport mode to give you a more sporty feel. Automatic light controls on the left side, AC vent in the middle, AC vent right here, and then two for the passenger. Right below our AC vents, we have this button to open up the glove box. All of our AC controls are gonna to be to the right of us. So no heated or cooled seats in the 1LT. We do have dual zone climate though, so the driver's side can be different from the passenger side. All of our AC controls right here in this stack, two cup holders in the middle that you can close or open. Center console right here with a little bit of storage, USB-C, USB, and this is just a phone holder back here on the 1LT traction control button. Let's go ahead and dive into the infotainment screen. So in the screen, we're going to have our audio, AM, FM, Sirius XM radio, Google Maps, phone, Google Assistant, Google Play Store, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a Wi-Fi hotspot. You also have settings, climate, Amazon Alexa, My Chevrolet, Google Podcasts, Google News, with this main screen all the way to the right. Adjust your volume with this knob, and you can mute or unmute. Home button right here. Quick buttons on the left side, you have your Google Play Store, Google Assistant, phone, navigation, audio, and home. So pretty basic on the inside, the 1LT is all about performance. Uh, as you can see, there's your parking brake right there. But this is definitely a pleasure to drive, guys. These cars are great. Definitely check them out if you're interested. Great thing about the 1LT is it does come with a rear view camera mirror, so you can always see behind you. This is adjustable. The way I like to do it is to turn the brightness all the way up, zoom it all the way out. You can also zoom it in if you prefer. And then I like to move it all the way down so I can see the back of my car and what's behind me. Blind spots in this car are pretty horrible, so you definitely want to keep an eye out on that. 
I suggest moving the mirror out as much as possible so you can definitely see your blind spots. Now, OnStar buttons right above us. We do have hazards. This does have lane keep assist equipped. Makeup mirror for the driver and passenger side. But that's about it for the inside and outside of the 2024 Chevrolet Corvette 1LT. Let's take one last look at the outside and then we'll go over the price tag on this vehicle, which is the best in this class. This is definitely the best bang for your buck performance car you can get right now. So like I said, if you're interested, check out the link in the description to get the best pricing today. But beautiful, beautiful car. The only thing I would do is maybe lower it a little bit. Look at that wheel gap. You could fit a whole shoe in there, but other than that, it looks absolutely fantastic. So guys, let's go ahead and jump into the price tag on this vehicle. I have it over here on the dash. So base price of the Chevrolet Corvette 2024 is 68,300. Now this is a 2024 Corvette Stingray Coupe 1LT, black with the adrenaline red interior, 6.2 liter V8 with the eight speed dual clutch transmission, carbon flash wheels, bright red painted brake calipers, low profile front and rear spoiler, torch red seat belts, dark stealth cross flags, and the battery protection package. So with the $1,695 destination charge, this one comes out to $73,000. Gas mileage on that 6.2 liter V8 is gonna be 16 city, 25 highway with 19 miles per gallon combined. But here's the whole window sticker if you guys wanna pause the video and check it out. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe down below to see more cars. But that's it for today's video. My name is Joshua McDonald and I'll see you guys next time.